Liam Neeson is back with another two-fisted tale of righteous do-gooding in The Commuter, a standard issue romp that continues the star's late career status as a force to be reckoned with, albeit one mired in forgettable and sometimes preposterous action movie cliches. The Commuter teams Neeson once again with director Jaime Colette Serra, marking the fourth time that the pair have churned out one of these. But a sense of repetition has set in, not just in terms of Neeson, but also the very setting. 2014's Non-Stop placed the action mostly within the confines of a commercial airliner, and now The Commuter takes a similar approach, only this time on a train. The film's initial premise is interesting enough. Neeson plays Michael McCauley, an insurance salesman who makes the trek into Manhattan every day from his suburban home in order to put food on the table. But it's a doggy dog world, and one day at work he's told that he's finished. Cuts are being made and Michael is out. Once he's on the train home, a mysterious woman, played by Vera Farmiga, appears and presents him with an offer he seemingly can't refuse. All he needs to do is ID a passenger on board the train that she's looking for, and he'll get $100,000 in return. My job is to answer one basic question. What's that? What kind of person are you? Of course, this opportunity turns out to be much more complicated than it seems and leads to plenty of Nice and action in due time. Setting most of the commuter on that one train set is an admirable challenge for Colette Sarah to undertake, and he often finds interesting ways to shoot in and around the train. But there are also some attempts at mixing things up that fail, including a fight sequence where all sense of space and perspective goes out the window as the set clearly becomes artificially enhanced at certain points. By the way, this being a Liam Neeson action movie, Michael is naturally an ex-cop. And it's a shame that Patrick Wilson is underused as Michael's old partner, as their scenes together work well. But our hero instead winds up spending most of his time on the train interacting with his fellow commuters, who are mostly played by character actors as one-note caricatures. Why are you going to Cold Spring? That's none of your business. By the time the inevitable third act twist comes, you're mostly glad for it just because it means the film is almost over. You have until next stop to decide. What kind of person are you? Liam Neeson as action star has become something of a recurring joke, but the reality is his gritty, no-nonsense style is well suited to kicking some serious butt. Unfortunately, this career trajectory has placed him in several successive uninspired films. The Commuter is just the latest of the bunch, and it may indicate that it's time for the actor to punch his ticket and get off this particular genre train. Thanks for watching. For more on the latest movies, be sure to watch our reviews for Insidious, The Last Key, and Bright. And as always, be sure to like and subscribe to IGN on all your favorite platforms.